News Channel 8, first at 4. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Josh Benson. And I'm Stacy Scheibel. This is First of Four. Well, they have been closed for more than a month, but come Monday, beaches in Pinellas County are reopening. It is welcome news for most businesses, but eight on your side caught up with some who worry if the plan to reopen may come too, too late. Eight on your side's Pinellas County Bureau reporter Christine McClarty joins us now live from Reef Bar and Grill on Madeira Beach. Hey, Christine. Hey there. Luckily, this restaurant's still open for business, and we've seen customers coming and going all day, but they do say, unfortunately, they've lost about 90% of business over the last couple months. Now, they think that they'll be able to bounce back, but they say it's been a very bumpy ride. It's been a roller coaster ride. The COVID-19 pandemic is impacting beachside businesses. It's surreal, I guess. It just it's made it not feel like home which is miserable. That's, I can say that's miserable. Michael Cambria is one of the managers at the four sister restaurants, the Reef Bar and Grill, Rick's Reef, the Toasted Monkey, and the Buoy. Appreciate you guys. The Tampa Bay Beach's Chamber of Commerce oversees more than 700 businesses from St. Pete to Clearwater. A lot of our businesses are shocked, upset, frustrated. Many feel that small businesses were really not solely looked after. The chamber president says more than 100 small businesses did not get federal stimulus money and are at risk of losing it all. It needs to come soon, otherwise it may be too late. The owner of the four beachside restaurants says with only doing takeout, it has cost them to stay open. It's been really trying. Uh, we have over 230 employees out of work. Uh, most of them have not been able to find other jobs. Um, business has been down 94% through the busiest time of the season. His employees are staying positive. We should bounce back. Hope, God willing, we all bounce back. Now, unfortunately, one of the new sister restaurants had to shut down temporarily. We'll hear more about that at 530. But this restaurant says they've been doing a lot of good for the community, a lot of donations to first responders. So now they're asking for the community to come out and support local businesses. Reporting live on Madeira Beach, Christine McClarty, 8 on your side.